throughout history there have been prophets <clears throat> and when I think of a prophet I think of Mohammed or Jesus or Zarathustra these old people of, of old time that have created that religions have been formed around the thing about being a prophet we're all prophets. When you say we're going to the store at 8 o'clock, and then at 8 o'clock you go to the store, you created a prophecy that was fulfilled. I know it's, that sounds a little bizarre, but that's what's happening. And these prophets were just people that spoke all the time uh, con convictedly with about this is going to happen. And people would believe them because they believed it when they spoke it. So, with such conviction, they completely believed it. I believe that it was drug-induced. Mohammed, Jesus, Zarathustra, tripping out, completely in the moment, believing every word they say. So all these people are around, seeing this person going, this will happen, this will happen, this will happen. And the people see it and say, I believe them. I believe him. He, he, he believes himself, so I believe him. So, so, so all these people start believing what this person is saying, and then all of a sudden, it, it happens. If I say... If I say Mauricio is coming over at 8 o'clock, oh man, this is, a, you can't prove it. You can't prove it. None of this can be proven. But what I can prove is that just because we're prof, I'm a prophet, you're a prophet, we speak things, we say this will happen and then it happens. Now what happened with these people in the past is that they did it a lot and then they died and when they died, all the people around were like, were like, oh my God, this person, this prophet, this person that spoke with such conviction all the time that, that helped to, to guide humanity in a way is gone. But we want to remember them. So they would, they would do what they could to remember this person. They would, they would write about them because that's all they had was writing. So they would write about them and, and talk about them. And after they were dead, they were gone. They didn't exist anymore, but they would write about it and try and like keep them around to no avail. So they have all these writings about these people, and then that's how the religions got formed. And that's why we're in a time of like, we're in a time of no religion now. We're in a time where religion is bullshit. Bull bullshit. I, I don't like that phrase. Religion is fading away because we, we see each other as people first. Not, we're not following other people. We're, we're living for ourselves. For ourselves. In a, in a non-religious experience, this is about us and what this is about me and what I do, and it's about you and what you do, not about what they did. Really, we are driving this. And what's happening now is with this new technology. When I die, no one's going to write about me. There's no religion is going to be formed. You just watch the video. You just see it. it's just another person, just another human being, that that says we will be in space. We will fly in space. Whatever, all the shit that I've said over the last year and a half, you know, I, I, I've been planting seeds of things that I believe will happen. And it, a lot of it happens, and a lot of it doesn't happen, but a lot of it happens. And so the prophecy is fulfilled. And then that's why people like Michael refer to me as a prophet, and other people get all wigged out because the, the word itself has, like, Jesus connotation, but it has nothing, prophet has nothing to do with Jesus or Muhammad or religion. A prophet is someone that prophesies, which is just saying this will happen and then and then see it happens. Or this will happen and it doesn't happen. That's a false prophecy. Regardless, what's happening now is that we're seeing that these people in the past were no different than us. We have the same power that they had. Jesus or Muhammad or Gandhi or any of these old school Egyptian god, prophets, sun gods, the people that they worship after death because they, they didn't have a way to know them. Now we got video so we can capture it and, and just let it, let it be seen continuously. Let it be known that I'm just a guy, just another fucking human being with all these problems and all these emotional problems and issues and I'm struggling and I don't know what I'm doing. But at the same time, if I get stoned, 
and my body relaxes, I can speak and believe anything that I want. Anyone can. And it's dangerous to do that. It's dangerous to get high, especially it's dangerous to get high a lot because you start to isolate from humanity. You start to be in the moment so much that you forget that you're human. You forget that you're just another person and that all these people are doing the exact same thing. And then it becomes about me and, and, and it became about me and my experience. And I was saying, I'm doing this. I believe this. I am in the moment. It is me. I am creating it, which I am. But that was all I was thinking. I am creating it. So all these people were standing around me looking at me saying, he is creating it. He is in the moment. He, he, he. And th then it becomes a cult where there's this center figure and a bunch of people around watching it and believing it because it is real, but it's imbalanced because I can't, I'm not going to be in the middle of a group of people. I'm one of a group. I'm one amongst the group. We walk side by side and we all have an opportunity to prophesy the future. So we, so we should. Together, we should we should create and, and, and plant seeds, which which will then grow into a future that we want. I there will be there will be a technology that will be built that will reproduce the breathing structure of a plant, taking in carbon dioxide and producing oxygen, and that's how we're going to repair the ozone through technology. We've already done too much damage to it with technology. It's not going to magically be undone. We have to build the technology. We don't have to, but we will. And once that happens on large scales, the, the, the asp aspiration process of the plant, I believe it's aspiration, the, the breathing process of the plant can be reproduced on a large scale. Also, solar panels in Africa and the desert. Swen said that. Large scale solar paneling in the deserts of Africa can power the entire continent. All it takes is focus. We have the money. We have the manpower. All it takes is focus. All it takes is the governments to pull their heads out of their asses and come together and focus on one thing. And I think if we have one language that that will expedite the process, and the internet is helping English to spread so that we can understand each other, even in a super, even in a, in, a, in a minor way, if we can understand each other literally, like say, this is a lighter. If, if, I, can, if I can say, hey, grab that lighter for me, and that person will grab this and hand it to me, that helps expedite the process. I don't need everyone to speak English as their main language, but we will benefit from being understood and understanding each other with one language. Once we can focus on one thing at a time as nations, as a world, as a human race, we can do these things like create a space elevator that will help, that will help us to build the spaceship in space quicker by lifting uh, product, whatever we need, resources into space, which we can do magnetically. It's completely feasible. We just have to focus. I want to shatter all the, all the conception of what a prophet is, what Jesus is, what religion is, and, and, and focus on what we are and what we can do. So, no, 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 so. That's what I want. That's what's happening. Is the walls are coming down. More people need to be exposed. More people need to be seen and heard. If you have a video camera, take it out onto the street and ask a person to ask a question to the politicians. They're doing something. CNN and YouTube is doing something right now where they're coming together. Ask the politicians a 30-second question, which I did about pa why not pacifism. But it's not about my question. It's about every, every person getting a chance. And we can, we can reproduce the, the moment, even if it's just one time. One time you go downtown to the homeless area and ask the people. Let them speak. I'm starting to get clouded now. I've, I've, I've gone on too long but I'm not going to end it with a jumbled mess. The human race is quite capable. The human race is like the only thing that's happening right now. Of course, that's not true, but we have to focus on the human race and ourselves and what we can do. We built these houses, but now let's, let's stop entertaining ourselves and start reaching out as humans as brothers, 
and sisters as as I mean we're all related we're all family I will never forget Charles Lane my friends I take it with me everywhere I go but what we do next is up to us.